Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we're going to review the new enhancements that have been added to the location directives and application version 10.0.31. The new features enhance the user experience of working with the location directives by giving the users more flexibility while designing the location directive rules and by reducing the redundant configurations. There are six new features that will be reviewed in this session. The preview query and related query information, location directive scopes, how to copy location directives across different warehouses, and location directives acceptance test. Now let's review them one by one. I'll get started by the first feature, the preview query and related query information. Here we are in the location directives form, and at first glance, we can see here a new fact box for the related information. Here we can review the query range that's specified in the edit query, the query range that's specified in the location directive actions, the sorting logic that is used for the location directive actions, and the acceptance test that will be demonstrated shortly. So you can review the location directives related information with just few clicks. And when we navigate to the edit query form, then here we can see a new preview button. Using the preview functionality, we can review the applicable orders for this location directive line. The preview functionality is available for the location directive header as well as the location directive actions. So here in the location directive actions, let's review the edit query. And here in the edit query, I apply the filter for warehouse 80 and location profile ID bulk. When I click here preview, then here we can review the applicable locations for that query. You will notice that the preview query data form has been designed to display the informations that are related to the current query and the work order type. So here we can review some informations that are related to the locations, like the location ID, the warehouse, and location type. But if I go back and review the edit query for the purchase orders, then we can review some informations that are related to the purchase orders. And when you try to insert new columns, then you can add the columns that are available in the relative tables. If I go back and I change here the work order type to something like the sales orders and review the edit query for this location directive line. Then here we can review some informations that are related to the sales orders, like the sales order number, the customer name, customer account, and the sales order status. Uh, the same when we change this to something like the transfer order issue. Then here, uh, we can review the transfer order information like the transfer order number, transfer order status from two warehouses, ship and receipt date. Now let's review the second demo, location directive scopes. This feature is managed by the feature management workspace, so we have to enable it first. This feature gives you more flexibility when you design the location directives as it replaces the previous multiple SQ option with a new option called scopes that have several options to determine whether the location directive line could handle single item, multiple items, or both together. When you enable this feature, you will notice that the location directive lines will be automatically migrated to reflect the new scope option. Previously, we had an option called multiple SQ that has been used to determine whether the location directive line can handle multiple items or no. Right now, when you design location directive line with work type pick, you can select from two options single item or multiple items. And while configuring location directive line with work type pot, you can select from four options, single item, single item or order, multiple items and alls. If you are aware of the location directive configurations, then probably you will be familiar with the single item and multiple items options. 
the single item option could be used to handle single order with one item or multiple orders with the same item where the multiple items option could be used to handle single order with multiple items or multiple orders with multiple items then you will notice that we have two new options single item or order that somehow works like the single item option in addition to the fact that the single item or order can also handle single order with multiple items and the last option is all that can be used to handle all the scenarios now let's review the third demo on how to copy a location directive to a different warehouse so now I'm gonna copy this location directive line of warehouse 80 to warehouse 83. I'll select the location directive line, then copy. Here we can modify the location directive name. So I'll give it the name of warehouse 83. Then here we have the new option. Here we can select a different warehouse. So I'll select warehouse 83. Then I'll click OK. Here we can see that the warehouse is updated. And if we look into the location directive actions in the edit query, we can see the new warehouse is updated. And now it's the time for the last demo on how to process and configure the location directives acceptance test. The acceptance test feature is enabled by default and it lets you define a set of tests to verify that the location directives work as expected. So you can simulate the location directive results without having to go through the regular warehouse process in a testing environment. I define this location directive line to pick the quantities from one to nine inches from the picking locations where the full ballots will be picked from the bulk locations. Now let's define an acceptance test to validate the results of this location directive line. Here in the location directive acceptance test, I'm going to define an acceptance test for the picking process in warehouse 80. Then in the given fast tab, we could rely on the current on hand inventory for the validation process, or we could assume that there is no inventory and in that case we should add an additional inventory as dummy on hand for the validation process in the first demo i'm gonna use the current on hand inventory then here in the when fast tab we should specify the work order type which is the sales orders then the work type which is pick then the item number i'll select this item number then the quantity Let's say that the quantity 10 each is, and this is in warehouse 80. After that, here in the then fast tab, we should specify the expected location. We could specify an exact location, or we could type .NET regular expressions for the expected locations, or instead, we could use profile ID. So in that case, I'm going to use the bulk profile ID, and now we are ready to validate this test. But before that, let's first review the current on hand for this item. Here in the on hand form, we can see that we have 10 inches or one pallet of this item in this location, which is a bulk location. So if we go back right now to the acceptance test, and click run to validate the results then here we can see it has been passed and the resulting location is b-001 here in the log section we could review the execution steps of the location directive so we can see that the first location directive is failed where the second location directive is succeeded but failed against uh, the first sequence since the quantity range from one to nine and the quantity here in the test is 10 each then we can see it's succeeded in the second sequence which is for the full ballots and it picks the uh, location directive action pick from bulk so we can see here the results is a bulk location that matches our expected location profile.
Let's play around this area. And for example, let's change here the quantity to uh, like two H's, then run the test once again. When we have two H's, then we are expecting that a picking location should be suggested. So if we look here on the results, then the results, it's failed. But it's failed to two reasons. The first one that the location profile is bulk, so this should be pick location. However, if we try to run again the test, it will fail again because we are relying here on the current on hand. And since we don't have enough on hand in a picking location, then the test will fail. What we can do right now, we can add additional inventory in a picking location like here. Let's say that we have here five each's, then save and run the test once again. And here we can see that the result passed. And here the resulting location is a picking location. Now let's review some other options that would help in the troubleshooting. So here in the acceptance test, we could run and review the relevant acceptance test. And the first feature here is the coverage option. When you run the acceptance test using the coverage option, then here you can debug and review the lines that have been executed. Looking into the first location directive line, we can see the line is highlighted by yellow. That means this line is failed. However, we can see the second location directive line is highlighted by green. That means this line is succeeded. Then we can debug and deep dive into the lines sections. So here we can see the first sequence has been validated and it's succeeded. Then it moved to the location directive actions and pick this action. The second option that could be used while running the acceptance test is the run test after a change. This option will help you to validate the acceptance test immediately if you applied any changes to the location directive. So here, for example, let's modify the restrict by unit. Here we have each's, which is a valid unit of measure. I'll remove it. And here, for example, I'll specify box. Then I'll go back, save. And here we can see that the acceptance test is failed. However, if I go back here to the restrict unit once again, delete new, then I'll specify again the, the valid unit of measure each is save. Here we can see the acceptance test is succeeded. This was a quick demo that covered the new features and enhancements that have been added to the location directives in application version 10.0.31. Thank you for your time and watching this video. Take care and good luck.